there is yet another, uh, but a new documentary about the Trump administration and the Trump era. And it actually seems like this one was done with the consent and informed knowledge of the Trump family themselves. Um, there's clips that are being leaked now. And uh, I want you to take a look at this very special clip that was recently posted. I don't think you want to have the water in the picture, right? You can take it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah put it over there, Nick. Kind of on this table as well? Oh, yeah, I might as well take the table. How are you doing? Good, very good, thank you. You know what you can do, Nick? Sir. Put the table back, because yes, it's missing something. Put the table back and put the water on the table without the thing on top of it. Okay, how's that look? Go ahead, take it out. Yeah. All right. Yeah, good. Right, let's go. Yes, oh, alpha male, best president of all time. Oh, perfect, amazing, not at all self-obsessed or ego-driven. Um, that was so funny. Before I talk more about the documentary and give you context, what's going on here, Ben? Well, look, he's a man who knows what he likes. You know, <laughs> you're not the clip cut off short, but I believe it continued. Nick, if you don't mind the water, if you could move a little. I'd like to talk about how I'm destroying American democracy still currently. So the water, I feel like it undermines it because water gives life and I take it away. Does that make any <laughs> sense? If this is possible, if we could just, and then bring the water back. You're my little monkey, Nick, back and forth, back and forth. You're my water boy, Nick, <laughs> you're great with water. Everybody knows that, okay? <laughs> it's. It's truly really incredible. I mean, this is like the waning days of his presidency. There's like mobs outside and he's like, okay, the napkin, that's a that's a girl napkin. That's a P word napkin. We don't need the napkin. Nobody cares about wood in the Oval Office and countertops. Clinton. They're about to literally steal the presidency. <laughs> and he's like, you know what? No one's gonna believe what I say. We'll never win them over if we're using coasters. Real men ruin their mahogany tables. Mm, They're never they gonna believe us. Liberal. They don't respect yeah. it. But also in his defense, I would be pretty concerned about water being in video shots with him when we've all seen the way he does drink water with the <laughs> You can't I don't it's so it's so big, my hand's so small. Let's <laughs> let's go to that water clip right now. All of that, but if if there's no plan, <laughs> okay. There's more. There is substance to this, you guys. I don't want you to think it's all about drinking water. Um, so this is a documentary uh, by Alex Holder, who actually put that clip out and wrote, "The Trumps did not have editorial control." Full stop. So this is someone who actually worked. Was the is the director of this documentary worked with the Trump family on the documentary, but they ultimately, I guess, didn't get control over what was going to be released or how it was all going to look, what you know, what what was going to come together, which is so on brand Trump, right? It's the same sort of like, you know, Woodward was allowed to Bob Woodward was just like in the halls the entire time, and Trump assumed that he was going to write a really flattering book about him and did not. Um, in fact, this documentary might be so explosive, the January 6th committee is subpoenaing Holder and some of the footage um, for its content. So the January 6th committee is set to interview Holder Thursday, that was this week, um, the same day it holds its fifth uh, hearing in, in a series of public hearings. The evidence could take center stage as the committee wraps up the series next month, but already bits of Holder's project have begun to circulate. Um, for example, the New York Times saw an interview with Ivanka Trump in which she eggs on her father's stolen election claims, a recording filmed on December 10th, 2020, nine days after then Attorney General Bill Barr said there was no widespread 
widespread fraud impacting the election results. Comments that Ivanka told the House committee, quote, affected my perspective. I don't think you, I, I don't, of course, you guys remember, she was like, yes, it did affect my perspective. And everyone was like, oh, wow, wow, she, she's calling her dad out. But of course, it seems like in this documentary, we're gonna see that days after Bill Barr said that, she was still spouting those similar lies. Um, but, how did? But Francesca, yeah. that that's only be because those two things are not mutually exclusive. It's perfectly on brand for the Trump family as well. She's saying, "Oh, I learned when Bill Barr said that that there was no fraud." That doesn't mean I'm not going to keep pushing the fraud narrative. It just right. means now I officially know it, it was a good narrative. Mm -hmm. We'll keep going Solid's with it. It's got legs. Um, so this is what really does it for me, this documentary, and makes it so on brand, the Trump family, you know, a family full of Fredos in the mafia. Uh, a source familiar with the production of Holder's documentary titled Unprecedented, sorry, that's what that's what the doc's called, um, told Rolling Stone that the film was conceptualized and coordinated directly with the Trump family. And that senior campaign staff was not involved in approving participants or in decisions regarding what subject matter would be included in the film. So, okay, you just really gave this guy full leverage over everything. Um, the source continues, uh, who is knowledgeable about the project and its scope, detailing that Holder had extensive access to Trump campaign activities, including filming behind the scenes at campaign events and traveling with documentary subjects. And now he's being subpoenaed. Jessica, final thoughts on this? God damn, what is it with these people committing huge crimes and inviting documentary filmmakers along with them? We had the Proud Boys have that documentary guy whose name I don't know. I'm gonna call him documentary guy like I call Mike Lindell my <laughs> pillow guy. But he testified he was following the Proud Boys throughout the whole insurrection. Donald Trump throughout all of these fraud claims has a documentary filmmaker there as well. They really feel like they're invincible. They're like, yeah, who cares if you document literally everything I'm doing, no big deal. Because all they want is attention. All they want is attention, even if it incriminates them, that's all they want. Same for my pillow guy who went on 47,000 interviews and said, I've got evidence of fraud. Where's the evidence? I will give it to you. When? Book me again, re re rebook me. <laughs> <laughs> did you ask to be rebooked on Charlie Kirk's show when you went on? I did not, I'm assuming that's a closed channel. But he does still <laughs> follow me on Twitter, for which I am very honored. Um, and just because we're about to wrap up this uh, bonus section here, and I am the only one who has not yet cursed, let me just say, as kind of a wrap up to the day's news. <laughs> 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 oh, let's let out a big old. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.